School age children who before now only had access to crude teaching methods are the beneficiaries of technology inclined facilities provided by the Borno State Government. With state of the art structures, modern equipment and furniture, highly motivated teachers and equally enthusiastic pupils, Borno is said to take its pride of place. Personally supervising construction works, Governor Kashim Shatima is happy with the quality of completed structures. We are right now building about 35 mega schools spread across the length and breadth of the state. Along this road alone, just this road, we have five mega schools coming up. So we want to create opportunities for at least 200,000 kids to go back to school. And most importantly, we have to look at the grey matter infrastructure. We want to provide one meal per day in partnership with the uh, federal government of Nigeria. While there is the will, there is always the way. We are determined in spite of whatever challenges we have to add value to our people. Some of the schools are built with the over 52,000 children who are now orphans as a result of insurgency in the state. Board in primary schools as well as secondary schools have already been constructed to address the situation. Back in the displaced people's camp, the children are excited when they learn about the new schools built especially for them. I'm very excited because we are no longer going to live inside the old classes. We are now going to live inside an AC classroom and it looks beauty. So I'm happy for that and I pray that God will continue to guide and protect our governor. Many residents of the state are convinced that only education is capable of liberating Borno from the setback it has suffered on account of insurgency. He builds a modern facilities in all the affected secondary schools, including the those that are not affected, because most of the structures have become obsolete. Some are old. So this man put his own effort. He said that education is the way form. Education is the way form. This insurgency has crippled our education sector and the economy. The giant leaps achieved in the education sector by the state government and the renewed thirst for Western education by the children appears to be a mockery of the ideology of the Boko Haram sect.